All Grown Up by playwright Sharice M. Salem. Cindy is a clever but somewhat bossy elementary school student who wants to grow up fast because she is bored at school and thinks her classmates are babyish. She also dresses up in her mother's clothes and pretends to be a grown up with a job, a chef, a teacher, and a doctor. Cindy's dad comes home with a new phone and a new job. He bought the Super X 400 Comet phone that can pause time, rewind, fast forward, and can get you a new job. Cindy's dad becomes a professional speed racer. Cindy's mother is not impressed and they argue about returning the phone and the new job. While they argue, Cindy snatches the phone and against the warnings of her siblings, she goes to her room to play with the apps. Using the new job app, Cindy decides to become a teacher. She finds herself in a classroom, but the children don't listen to her. After a little while, she decides to do something else. Cindy becomes an astronaut and lands on an alien planet. She meets some aliens who discuss whether she is edible or if she is already too rotten and bossy. She manages to escape just in time by using the phone. Next, she tries to be a chef in a French restaurant. She likes the kitchen, the smells, and the sophisticated French cuisine, but does not pay much attention to the instructions. The chefs sing a song about good food. Cindy's pan of oil catches on fire and the other chefs get angry at her and she loses her job. She decides to become a lawyer and finds herself in the middle of a court case defending the bossy Mrs. Fibbs, who is looking for her manicure to be paid for after an accident in the grocery store. It turns out that an elderly woman, Mrs. Rogers, was simply moving out of line to get some prunes, and Mrs. Fibbs overreacted. The judge dismisses the case, and Cindy decides she should really study law before becoming a lawyer. Next, she becomes a doctor. She finds herself in the emergency room of a hospital. She is called to a patient who is about to faint. The nurses ask her to give the patient a shot. It becomes too much for Cindy to bear and she freezes time to figure out what to do. She presses the home button where she can see her parents looking for her through the screen. Being an adult is not all that much fun, but she decides to continue because maybe there is something that she can do and still escape childhood. She decides to be a ballerina. She does very well in her tutu and in the first dance, but gets very tired and falls in the second dance. At this point, time freezes again and the Super X 400 Comet phone intervenes. It turns out that it can talk. They talk about growing up and the phone advises Cindy to finish school first. Cindy agrees. Cindy presses the home button again and finds herself home in her bed. Everyone is yelling at her, but she mutes them except for Kayla and Jonathan. She apologizes to them and they tell her she is a good sister. Next, she unmutes her parents. She is grounded for a month, which she doesn't mind, and tells them that she no longer wants to be an adult as it is too hard. The Super X 400 Comet phone starts talking and asks to be taken back to the store. The End All Grown Up by Sharice M. Salem. This video was made possible by Vintage Soul Productions. To learn more about our playbooks, please visit www.vintagesoulproductions.com. We love to bring theater to children, and we hope you've enjoyed watching this story today.